That fake tweet that caused havoc from Washington to Wall Street yesterday afternoon. It looked like a bulletin from the Associated Press reporting an attack on the White House President Obama injured. And even though it was caught pretty quickly, the fraud showed just how much chaos hackers can cause. ABC's Jim Avila has the latest from Washington. Good morning, Jim. Good morning, George. It's the tweet that took the hack job from nerdy prank to national security issue. It supposedly came from the trusted Associated Press. Breaking news, two explosions in the White House and Barack Obama is injured. At least for a brief moment of time, people believed that the U.S. government had been attacked and the president had been injured. Less than 140 characters causing the stock market to drop 150 points almost immediately and sending the White House scrambling to reassure the nation. I can say uh, that the president is fine. I was uh, just with him. Traders and computers reacting to the tweet, programmed to respond to certain words online. Computers don't have emotions. Computers don't have intuition. Computers trade off of one variable and one variable only. Humans use their intuitions. We can look, we can see, we can feel and touch. Looking at this headline right now, we knew pretty quickly that it was not a true headline. Over the weekend, another media giant had its Twitter accounts compromised. 60 Minutes hackers tweeted, exclusive, terror is striking the USA and Obama is shamelessly in bed with Al-Qaeda, forcing CBS to shut down its account. Earlier this year, the nation's two largest newspapers, the New York Times and the Wall Street Journal, had their firewalls penetrated. Both accused China of spying. Hackers were after the sourcing for a story we had done about Chinese leaders' relatives. A Syrian rebel group took credit for the AP breach, using a not very sophisticated technology to briefly panic the American government and Wall Street with a few keystrokes. Hackers have gone wild. In fact, earlier this year, Michelle Obama, the first lady, had her information put on the Internet, including her Social Security number and her credit report.